Mm. So just taking all the time you need to land back into the silence softly. <coughs> Cozy with the gentle rain outside. And taking time to settle into your body. Listening to your body's needs for perhaps adjusting piece of clothing that is tight or some place that your body is pinched or strained, scratching any itches perhaps. <clears throat> Maybe slightly stretching your spine. Finding a comfortable place for your hands. <coughs> Balancing your head so that you can let any tightness or tensions in the face start to drain. Drain down the spine into the ground as you fully occupy your space on the mat. And the air around you connecting you to spiritual friends on either side. I'm going to lead a guided metta meditation, but just follow along in your own way, at your own speed, allowing the metta to flow naturally, and receiving my words as suggestions, rather than a fixed way to do the meta practice. So to begin connecting with a person who's very easy to love. Connecting from your heart, letting their face, their image, a sense of their presence come to mind. Noticing any effect in your body, in your emotional world when you bring this dear person to mind. Maybe a teacher, a benefactor, a guardian, a parent or a friend. And just gently connecting with your deepest wishes for them. Ways that they too would like to, <coughs> to be. And just enjoying offering them this gift of your full loving kindness without any expectation or demand.
just trusting this metta to flow and enjoying the beauty of giving. Allowing it to soften and melt the heart. Relaxing you deeply. As the loving kindness starts to grow in your heart and towards this friend, <clears throat> it starts to spill over into this room to all your fellow meditators. Circling around us all and growing stronger the more it's shared. Wishing all of us here in this room to be happy, safe, and free. Free from all our anger, all our pain. Bringing peace and joy to our hearts as though the whole room was starting to glow, shimmer with this beautiful, soft, warm, loving kindness, <coughs> protecting, healing. Relieving any pain. Imagining us all sitting with a smile. Soaked through. With goodness, with peace. With love. And soon the metta grows so strong it starts going out through the windows and the doors to all the beings outside this hall. Nimbus and Sirius, is it? A little white cat. Spider. And all the insects in the earth. The slugs on the lettuce in the polytunnels. The birds, perhaps, asleep on the trees or in their nests. To 
to those other people who've been part of this retreat, to Martha, Sarah, Natasha, to the gardener, Lucy, and all the beings who've helped me in this possible coming before. Spreading down across the valley into the local towns, Totnes, coloring this whole area with a golden hue, shimmering, carrying the message of peace. May all beings in the whole area, the whole of Devon, as far as it flows, whatever they're doing right now, may they benefit from our loving kindness. May their hearts be at peace. And just as as the sun rises, it quickly spreads its glow. So the rays start to spread. All across the south of England. Up to London, big cities where... People may be living in the streets or in small, crowded apartments, maybe stuck on the tube or on the roads, maybe with their families having tea. All beings throughout the south and the north of England just spreading this metta wherever there are beings who breathe. Bringing harmony to those who are arguing, divided. Rejoicing with those who are at ease. All beings human or non-human throughout this whole UK even though it's dark outside this golden light keeps spreading in every direction up to Norway across Europe down through Spain, France, Africa to all beings no matter what they're doing right now and further east to the Middle East, to Palestine and Israel, where there's so much conflict and devastation. Imagine the peace of your heart touching the hearts of those in conflict, in war. And for a moment bringing ease and peace. beings who are hungry or scared, all beings who are happy and well, no matter where they live, what race, how rich or poor, all beings all the way into Asia, Russia, China, 
lingering longer in those places where there's great suffering right now, Ukraine, Myanmar, bringing a message of peace. as though everything temporarily softens and people gain hope again. People correct their ways and come out of this terrible fighting. Their hearts filling with love and with peace. And this meta just keeps flowing from each and every one of us outwards, leaving no part of this beautiful planet Earth untouched. Across Australia, where I have many spiritual friends, New Zealand, to all the little islands between there and Hawaii, North and South Pole, across to the Americas, Canada, South America. Shining this beautiful golden light equally across and around the whole planet Earth. Till your heart is as big as the world. No one, no being is left outside. All beings, human or non-human, large or small, from big elephants in the jungles to the tiniest little midges and mites. All beings who suffer and desire happiness at this moment, may their hearts be at peace. May they have enough to eat. May their habitats stop being destroyed. And this loving kindness soaks right through the planet Earth herself. Helping the trees start to grow again. Fertilizing the soil. Calming any storms or hurricanes. Keeping all beings safe. May all beings know their highest welfare, know what leads to peace. May they have the good fortune to practice, to benefit themselves and all those they meet. All beings those who are pure-hearted, those who've lost their way, may they all hear the beautiful teachings of the Buddha and find hope, find peace, find freedom from all suffering. Wherever there's life, even beyond this planet Earth, outwards and unbounded, free from hatred and ill will,
and just resting here for a while. It's as though the whole world has become quiet, soft, peaceful, as though wrapped in a white cloth, calmed and soothed at peace, all beings in harmony. wishes spread across the whole world, the universe, gently, gently bringing that peace back inside, inside this country, the beautiful valley of the river Dart. And inside this room, once again, to each one of us. gently back inside your own body to your heart where all your emotions lie the peace the potential for joy maybe the sorrow and the pain Right now your heart includes it all with enormous tenderness and care. Knowing that just like all beings you suffer, you make mistakes, you love, you cry, you laugh. And you try to live a really beautiful, virtuous life. You yourself are so in need of your own loving kindness. So right now, give yourself love. Accepting every part of you. Even the parts you've left outside. Bringing them in like frightened children in the rain. No more rejected. Giving them a hug. Whatever I've done, wherever I've been, I forgive myself completely. And if there are parts of myself that I cannot accept or forgive right now, I commit to finding forgiveness, to being kind. Being really 
gentle with your own heart. And holding yourself in tender loving kindness. While I chant the final blessing of this retreat. Almost the final blessing. Just letting it soak through you. Sabe Sata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha Sabe Pugala Sabe Atta Bawa Pariapana Sabha Itiho Sabe Purisa Sabe Ariya Sabe Anariya Sabe Deva Sabe Manusa Sabe Vinipadika Aweva Hontu Abhya Paja Hontu Aniga Hontu Sukhiatanam Pariyamantu Dukha Munjantu Yadalada Sampadito Maure Gajantu Kamasakam